Hey there, Mike Me back with KTVU Fox 2 in the San Francisco Bay Area. Look, to go to the emergency room or not to go to the emergency room, and, and I'm not talking about COVID-19 symptoms. I'm talking about if you fall off your bike and you get hurt, and people are having that debate. Uh, joining me to talk about it, Dr. Adrian Wallinson, a sports medicine specialist uh, in the Bay Area, also VP of Medical Affairs uh, for Upswing Health. I mean, just a personal example, my wife uh, bought roller skates probably a month ago and started using these roller skates and then she took a spill and her ankle started to swell up we were like was it broke i mean is it just swollen is it just a sprain um and we had that debate and i can imagine and one of the questions was well i don't want to go because i don't want to catch anything if i go to the er room yeah that's a that's a great point i mean this is a this is a a, a prime case for what upswing health was designed to address there's a lot of minor injuries out there that right now do not really need to go to the emergency room. Yeah. A lot so of how does it work? Specifically, how does it work? I mean, and you know, so what, my wife is an example, but if someone does have that debate, they go to Upswing Health and then take us from there. So what happens is that they would go to the Upswing Health website. Uh, they would fill out um, what's called a symptom checker, which is a, what we call an artificial intelligence based tool that will take them through the process and make them up with one or two possible diagnoses. The uh, patient is then uh, hooked up with a consult with either an athletic trainer or a physical therapist. And they function very much as a triage mechanism. If the case is deemed to be more severe, that case will then be upgraded, if you like, to a physician consult via a video telemedicine link. Okay. Uh, and the thing is now, uh, if people do do this and use Upswing Health, uh, you, you guys are offering free virtual correct. events. So you're not getting charged here. That's, that's correct. Right now, during the uh, COVID-19 pandemic, we are offering the, uh, all the consults are currently free. Our providers are all uh, volunteering their time. Um, so we feel, we feel good about that. And it's a service that is, you know, it's proving to be, um, you know, really needed right now. Yeah. What would you say to people who are like, you know what? I, I just don't get the telemedicine right now. I, I feel like someone needs to touch my ankle uh, or right. someone needs to at least physically see it in person. Um, that There's just no way around doing what we're doing right here in just this, this Zoom interview. Right. Yes, I think that's a, that's a valid point. A lot of people are a little bit um, cautious, if you like, about speaking with a doctor via a video link. What we've learned is um, from the patients that we've interviewed, they seem to have really, you know, grasped this and run with it and are getting very used to it and very comfortable with it. And also the physicians, the physicians themselves were a little bit apprehensive. And admittedly, there are some things that do need a traditional bricks and mortar, if you like, visit with a doctor. But there's so much you can accomplish via a video link. Um, you know, we feel comfortable that the the level of service is such that we can advise on minor problems and certainly advise people to go to the emergency room if it's something more, more severe, such as a major fracture or maybe it's a head injury or something that absolutely needs to be seen. You know, a long, long time ago, I mean, it, doctors did have that little bag and they would go to your house and, and do a uh, in-person call. Uh, when all is said and done with the pandemic, do you foresee uh, this telemedicine, this virtual check-in with, with physicians as something that, that does have legs here, that this could stick around? Absolutely. I think if there's anything good at all that comes out of this whole pandemic, it's really the birth of telemedicine. Um, people are getting comfortable with it. Primary care doctors are using it. Specialists are using it. I, I see it sticking and, and staying with us and being a complement, if you like, to traditional uh, bricks and mortar medicine. What about participation? I mean, I don't know if you have the exact numbers, you know, with you since, you know, we've been inundated with, with COVID-19 over the last few months here, but has there been an uptick in, uh, at least with Upswing Health? Absolutely. Um, patients are very cautious about going to the emergency room, sitting in a, in a physician's waiting room for, you know, half an hour, an hour or so. Their risk of contracting COVID, you know, goes way up if they certainly attend the emergency room. So this is, you know, this is a service to help people uh, with minor injuries, 
Um, and we hope that you know their risk of contracting COVID obviously goes way down because they don't have to make an in-person visit. Yeah. So all around, it's it's a win-win scenario. What about is there a different outlook when it comes to uh, children? I'll just throw out an age group of, of ten and younger, um, or, or are we all putting a, each other on the same level here? You know, for these types of injuries, on in the debate of whether or not to bring a child into the emergency room. Sure, that's a, that's a good point. We do get a lot of parents asking about, you know, childhood injuries. Kids are spending more time at home. They, they're tending to injure themselves at home. And uh, parents are worried about, you know, what to do. Um, certainly, we would have a, a low threshold, if you like, for, you know, kids being seen in the emergency room for an x-ray, for example. But we believe that, you know, Upswing provides a first, uh, a first step you know, a triage process, if you like, that gives parents reassurance and, and knowledge that they are doing the right thing. Have you guys decided how long, you know, you're going to be offering the, the at least the free, uh, the visits for now? I mean, it, it just depends. How um, to, to be decided, um, we, we, we would take it one day at a time. And certainly, eventually, when everything calms down and we all get back to a relatively normal life, should we say, um, we will, you know, we'll reconsider the situation then. But um, right now, the service remains free. And it just takes a few clicks, and really, to get you through the process. But again, just and I want to reemphasize it, that first click, I mean, where, if you could tell our viewers again, is it just a website and tell us where they can go? It's, it's a simple website, upswinghealth.com. Um, you're provided with some information that you, uh, you know, you're taken through a process. Uh, we ask you a few questions about your injury. We don't collect any um, private information. All we need is a cell phone number so we can communicate with you via text. And ultimately, um, you know, you will be provided with a video link, um, but it's, it's very straightforward. It's simple to use. And, um, you know, we believe it, it'll help a lot of people make, you know, make the right decision as whether, whether or not they need to leave the house to, to visit a doctor or go to the emergency room. You, d you said a word there that kind of made me think of something when you said privacy. Um, is it a secure site? I mean, that's a concern. I mean, even if you're not giving private information, just dropping my social security number uh, vocally here, but you know, we, we are talking about the virtual world and getting hacked and people listening in. And of course we have HIPAA laws, you know, in your absolutely. California and across the country. Um, it's, is it secure? Yeah, absolutely. That's, uh, that's a, a, a great point to raise. We are, you know, 100% HIPAA secure. We follow all the regulations and the security measures that are in place. And the only information that we, we collect right now would be a cell phone number. So it allows us to um, start a text-based conversation with you. Uh, that's all the information that we, we collect. Okay, and just a reminder of our viewers too, uh, they can watch this conversation and all conversations about uh, COVID-19 uh, related material on our website at coronavirusnow. Uh, dot com. Uh, Dr. Adrian Rawlinson, we appreciate your time and uh, stay safe there in the Bay Area. Thank you so much. Take care.